All right, this is for uh, Joanna Dulce. And um, the first thing I would say is that when you do this, you really want to pay attention to your um, your lighting solution and your tangents, okay? So if you look here, I'm just gonna kind of pick a green color here. But if you look here, you've got tangents basically on the uh, kind of corners. Like, so you've got a tangent here um, you don't want to like cut off things and you cut off like the ear you cut off You know a lot of that information right there. And so that ultimately gives you uh, Some issues going on um, Makes things feel kind of uncomfortable uh, when you're looking at it. So those little bits and pieces are kind of Kind of things that you want to take care of and then the other aspect of this is your lighting solution um, So I get you have your two lighting sources you have your blue from your sky above and you have your um, your pink from your other area here. But the problem is if you look at this from a 3D point of view, so if you look at like your, um, your shoulders here, um, we're just gonna add the chest, and then the arm looks like it's kind of going back like this, and then this arm is kind of coming, it's kind of weird, so like you, it's not really bent right um, and I'll go through the anatomy in a second but the second light comes there and so if that's the case um, and you've got the torso a little bit twisted so it looks like maybe a leg comes kind of back this way and a leg comes back this way and so if that's the lighting solution and your amulet is giving off the light here um, you're gonna have a light source like so um, actually not there you're gonna have a light source that's going like so and then it's also going to kind of come here and and be your your, your primary point you're also gonna have a strong light source along the breast line here and then this all this other stuff here kind of is going to dissipate and so some of this is correct and then other things are just really kind of off you know you, you your light source and that so that's where kind of setting up yourself as a model would give you the lighting solution that you need to kind of work this through um, and so ultimately that's kind of where you want to do, work with it the next thing is your anatomy and your anatomy is you know it's very simplistic and the problem with that is that ultimately um, you're not getting the information that you need in there and so looking at like this here even if they're not a muscular person, um, you're still going to have a bicep, you're still going to have a forearm, and your your hand, you know, is still going to block out to a wrist. So blocking out those kind of functions are is is going to kind of help you out uh, a little bit more. And I would get again a pose would kind of help that out, but the anatomy is just slightly off. Um, and so ultimately, you know, taking care of some of that information is going to kind of help you out. Um, and it looks like you have three fingers here. Um, you know, these fingers are completely off. Um, like this would be broken. Um, so, you know, adding in uh, a simple kind of, you know, kind of information like that is going to help your, your, your hand out and things like that. Um, and so just ultimately you just need to kind of get the anatomy down and then this here if you're you're moving your hand out like this and even if you're moving away you're going to get kind of a uh, think of it as like cylinders and so if you're moving it away like this it's going to get significantly smaller as you work so the hand here is going straight forward and the arm here is going straight forward but the way you've got it posed is 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 like it's feeling like it's going like you want it to go away but you didn't draw the foreshortening in there and so you can see here that you know just putting in um, you know the hand going further out like that um, is going to kind of help help you out with that aspect and even if you draw it forward like this you know you break it into kind of pieces like so and it, you you still are going to like the hand looks broken like you wouldn't um, you would see more of the bottom of the hand um, because naturally it would be bent more 
Um, so again, a pose like that would help as well. Um, and so those are the big things that I would say right off the bat. Um, and then the other thing is your kind of perspective on your wings. So the character is turned three quarter view um, like this, but then the wings are straight on like that. And so fixing those. So the first thing I would say right off the bat is fix the wings and I would transform them so that you've got much more and you can see here just kind of transforming this one closer and bringing it further over like so is going to be kind of really what what you need to kind of achieve this area or this uh, kind of aspect and then also centering it so I'm going to I'll erase some of this out and then let's see here and then bring this up a little bit more and so you you want to get more depth in there so maybe even I would tell you maybe even like overlap some of this so that you see that that wing overlapping a little bit more and then here you're going to bring that down like so and so you can see here just by by fixing that kind of area uh, it it creates a little bit of a ridge and then you can actually just kind of ridge this up here to create that that kind of flow and then this one here would hover more around um, so again you know even even adding in some some you know simple paper wings or something like that that you quickly kind of cobble together to give you the idea uh, or the shape and form is going to help you out. Um, this one looks like this one wouldn't bend like this. This one would bend more of the line of, um, it would probably come out a little bit more. Something like this. Just erase that. And then, so this would be, come out a little bit more like this. And then it would come forward. So maybe a little bit more like this. Um, just again, you know, having reference, you know, even mocking something together like that, or even, you know, if this doesn't work for you, then you want to have this probably come, um, you know, it's, it's actually, let's erase this here. So if you, you have this, you're probably going to have it come back more like so, uh, this is straight over. So this would actually just be kind of pushed out a little bit more, I think. Something along the lines of like this. And then you again have your your wing. We're just gonna go darker here. And you again you have your wing so that it makes just more sense on the fold. Um, right now the fold just doesn't doesn't really make that much sense. Um, and so again, just a little bit of uh, you know paying attention to that kind of proportion. So here you can see that just by painting it a little bit like this. Um, you know, I'm starting to get a little bit more curvature to it, just starting to get a little bit more kind of uh, emphasis on your your wing. And then um, fixing the lighting solution. So here, you know, this is, is lit up, but even if this is over here, so I would just kind of, this is where I'm going to go up here. So this, bringing this down, you can see here, you know, bringing that arm down a little bit more. Um, so and then if this is shining the bright this is going to give light here and then here is going to give you know it's going to give light here as well casting off and so you really want to pay attention to how bright your your light is and how much is casting off um, and then again the hand needs to be fixed as mentioned before and then you'd have you know a lot more shadow darkened here and then again your bright light which is almost like this pink would be shining on this uh, kind of breast area here just kind of brush like so so this would be a brighter light not that bright but um, and then your cast off would be your shadow that's cast from the shoulder um, so again a lighting solution would would help that out and you can see just by adding that in there, that lighting source um, with that shadow kind of adds in more kind of depth. And then over here, 
you're going to have a little shade and this is going to be a little bit shadowed underneath here too um, so you know just paying attention to that light source um, is going to really kind of help you out um, and then you're going to have a cast shadow here and then probably one cast there so it's just little things like that that you want to go through and kind of really kind of plot out um, and then here would be brighter uh, even still and then because of the way the shadow is being cast you'd have shadow under the eye because it's it's directing it up um, and so those are little things that you want to write like just go through and fix uh, maybe even something along the lines of like this um, and you don't want to give her the mustache but uh, that would give you kind of the the plotting of what you kind of need to get it working for you, okay?